Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel Tune to Linux. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the rollback of your packages. So it is very important you know you need to know how to roll back your packages for some instance if you have installed a new packages released and due to that it is causing some issue in your application running in the system okay so if you uh, if you are aware of it how to uh, roll back it roll back the packages then you would not have any issues uh, for example I have upgraded this system from 6.2 to 6.8 so currently if you see let me increase the font size a little bit okay so I think this is good now okay so like I showed you here it is 6.8 so I have upgraded this from 6.2 to 6.8 and now the problem is in the system the application which is running uh, currently there is nothing running but just for uh, assuming that there is an application running in the system and then system application is not starting and due to this uh, upgrade it is not supported and now you need to roll back your system. So, if you have upgraded your system, for example, you have updated few packages, 5, 10 or I mean 50 or something like that, it is okay, I mean it is okay to roll back each and every packages one by one, right, but it will going to take a lot of time. But in most of the scenario, when you upgrade your system for one minor uh, release to majorly release for example from 6.2 to 6.8 it is going to install a lot of packages and it is going to upgrade a hell lot of packages so it would be uh, almost impossible you just need to uh, downgrade all the packages one by one it is possible but it would be like very difficult for you to do that okay so to simplify that Red Hat has one features which will allow to downgrade or roll back your packages to the older version. So how would you do that? So if you run this command yum history, you can able to see there is a history for my package installation upgrade areas and all. So the first one when I first install my system there are about 11 13 packages is installed and later i have erased two packages so and so time and there are some packages i have installed and this is for uh, i need to check what is all for and this is for upgrade and there are 214 packages i have upgraded and same thing i have did here and I have I have erased some file here around 12 and I have upgraded about 514 packages so which is a huge package count so I have installed and upgrade in this so and so dead in time okay so now if I wanted to roll back how would I do so here one more command is there this is list and if you wanted to do a summary you can check like this as well in summary you would not see in detail but there are some information you would have that may help you so I would prefer to go with this command yum history okay so now my system was earlier running 6.2 and because of the upgradation 6.8 it has gone uh, my application is not working and now I need to roll back it so in order to do that I need to run one command called yum history undo and specify the number before that just to understand 
which package provide this history uh, solution and through which we can roll back our system. So, if you just do uh, rpm in QA yum uh, ok let me grab ok so if I just grab it here you can see one packages ok so this package is providing this yum utility uh, yum history utility ok so you need to ensure this yum plugin security package is installed if this package is not installed in your system you won't be able to run this command and you won't be able to roll back your packages ok and also to check whether it is enable or not you can always query for the files uh, like this and you can see here there is one file called security and if you just get this file and you would be able to see here enable equal to 1 so now if I, if I try to roll back it it will going to work because it is enable and everything seems to be fine so now the major changes which was done from 6.2 to 6.8 on this date and time and this is the package which is installed so to roll back it what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this command yum history undo and I need to provide the ID so here ID is 7 so I'm going to specify the ID here okay and uh, where it will going to check so now when I run this command from where it is fetching this information this is one question right so if I do a pwd you can see one location called var lib yum history and this is the so and so date I just went into this location right the same location and this is the id okay so inside this if I do a ls I can see a file called config man and if I just do a more for to this file and you can see this information ok and one more very important information which I would like to tell you is about exclude so for example when you are doing a uh, undo you have one package called sshd right so this sshd package you don't want it to roll back you want this package to be remain in the upgraded version and rest all the packages which is upgraded and installed needs to be rolled back so you need to specify the package package name here ok so and once you package uh, once you update this package name you can save this file then you are good about it ok so this is very important so to know this information because uh, you, you should know how it is working and from where it is fetching those information so let me now go here again yum history undo and let me provide the number uh, before that I just need to come out from here you know, history undo just in case insert let me clear the screen and I just ran the command and now it is going to fetch all the information what are the packages it, it was installed and upgrade so those all package information it is gathering and it is trying to find out how many packages is going to remove so those information are you can see all these packages which is going to downgrade and it is and there is a conflict here and due to that 
oh, I have some issues. So, processing conflict kernel, this is two for merges, finish dependency, and there is some issue. So, what I have to do is I need to remove this file rpm minus e and let's remove this file it's not installed this one rpm minus e okay so i just remove that file <coughs> and let me run that command one more time and see how it goes now and it is again checking and now we can see I I got a prompt for removing 20 packages and it is going to downgrade for 92 packages so here if I just scroll up a little bit you can see all this package information and to downgrade and remove that I'm just going to say yes and it will going to take a little time and now you can see so uh, it is going to install the older version of packages so uh, it is checking the metadata which I had in that history location and that file and it is just installing packages so again here it is 104 packages uh, needs to run to go back to that previous patching level so we are half through so currently package installation is done the older packages and now it is cleaning up and after that it will going to verify and let's hope everything is going to be fine now we can see these all packages are verifying and it is very quick and we have completed the verifying here and you can see the summary I just need to go up to level here and this mini package is uh, removed which was upgraded last time when I have upgraded from 6.2 to 6.8 so those were the packages were installed and upgraded so now they have removed and these are the new uh, all packages which is required for 6.2 is installed okay so okay so now let me see what is the patch level now and now you can see the patch level is 6.2 so we are back again to the previous version of patch level and if you again uh, do a unum nsa for your kernel version you would be able to see the your previous kernel version is installed just to ensure everything is fine you need to install uh, you need to uh, reboot your system once I just initiated it in its 6 command and it is going to restart loading just let me press escape to see what's happening background is trying to load the UDAB there is a warning for IP tables which is ignorable IP level 6 so rest everything seems to be fine it is coming up
uh, guys it looks like some issues I, it was just not starting uh, the services uh, it is getting stuck in one service called uh, I think it is regarding the package so it was not starting so that's why I just shut down I mean power of the system and now again I'm trying to power on and let me see now probably it will come up so earlier it was stopping not here it is it's supposed to go from here let's see so this time it went fine and I think it is booting up so let me log in and let's see whether it still shows 6.2 because there was some region uh, I think some package got corrupted not sure it wasn't able to start let me maximize and check the version great so it is still showing 6.2 then that means uh, we are good so there was something called RS cert I think here it got stuck for some time and it was unable to restart this package but uh, since I have power off and power on that issue went off and now it seems to be fine so I think we are good so this is it guys so this is this is how you have to roll back your system after your patching okay so always I would always recommend you to take the backup for your system before rollback because sometimes it may work and sometimes it may not work, may not work. and again when you do a huge amount of package rollback that may cause some issue okay so for example if you're running 6.2 and you have upgraded to 6.3 and from there you are trying to again roll back to 6.2 uh, in during that time there won't be much package so maybe uh, you won't face issue but if you are doing a major changes from 6.2 to 6.8 or 6.9 there will be a lot of packages which is going to install and upgrade so so it is always recommend that uh, though we have these features in Red Hat we you need to ensure that you have your system backup so that if anything wrong you may you may uh, roll back your system okay so uh, for now uh, for this video this is uh, this is it this is what I had to discuss so please try to uh, test in your system and let me know if you have any issues okay and please subscribe my channel and if you like this video please hit like to my uh, video and give uh, sharing my video with your friends okay so thank you so much for uh, watching this video have a good day